What's up guys, welcome back to the UFC Arena. UFC Fight Night Brunson vs Holland just ended and let's talk about that fight. So Derek Brunson defeats Kevin Holland via unanimous decision. After 5 rounds, it wasn't the most eventful fight, it wasn't the most exciting fight, but there are a few interesting takeaways from this fight. Firstly, Kevin Holland lost the fight, but it really seemed as though the fight was there for him to win. Like if he would have been more methodical, if he would have talked less and focused on the fight more, you know, conserve his energy a little more and just be more intelligent if he fought in a more intelligent manner Kevin Holland 100% could have won this fight if Derek Brunson would have been forced to stay on the feet with Kevin Holland I'm pretty sure he would have gotten knocked out because Holland is a sniper on the feet and he has power serious power and he hurt Derek Brunson in the second round and you could just see the impact of Holland's punches and that he was packing some serious power so pretty much the story of the fight was Brunson takes down Holland round 1, Brunson takes down Holland round 2, Brunson takes down Holland round 3 and we go like that until the end of the fight. Holland had a few shining moments here and there but it was pretty much a easy victory for Derek Brunson because Holland he was playing too much. Now that's the thing with Holland style. Don't get me wrong, I still very much am a huge fan of Kevin Holland. I like his style and I think that he's a very entertaining fighter. He's unique, there's nobody like him. He was just talking to Khabib throughout the whole fight. Every time he goes back to the corner, he's talking to Khabib and his corner is trying to talk to him. And it's like, <laughs> you're not even taking them on. And then coming down to the later rounds, we saw that he was actually responding to his corner and you could see that he was trying he was like listen guys i'm trying but <laughs> Derek brunson just so heavy like like man this man just it's hard i'm trying but it really it's just not working and that's the thing yes holland plays a lot but he was definitely trying to win this fight but because he was so caught up in his antics he doesn't always fight as intelligently as he could and the commentators rightly pointed out that his footwork kind of got him in trouble sometimes. A lot of times when he would throw his strikes, he kept falling into the clinch with Brunson. And once he got into the clinch with Brunson, Brunson was too strong for him. He took him down and he was able to keep him down. And Holland, when he was on the ground, he would close his guard, which is not helping him get up. He needed to be a lot more active on the ground, a lot more frantic, you know, engaging in more scrambles to get back to his feet. That would have made this fight more competitive, and I think that he definitely has the ability to do it. So, in many ways, if you're a Kevin Holland fan, this one was kind of disappointing because talking is all well and good when he's winning you know if he came back in the fifth round and he knocked out Brunson all would be well but the fact that you know you talk you talk and you know it seemed as though there's a lot of missed opportunities due to you just being so careless that kind of rubs fans the wrong way when you lose so I'm still a Kevin Holland fan hats off to Derek Brunson he is a true <laughs> gatekeeper if you beat Brunson that means you're legit. Not saying Kevin Holland isn't legit, but if you beat Derek Brunson, you're on the way to title contention. If you lose to Derek Brunson, well, you're just not ready. He's a true gatekeeper and he's a good test for all these upcoming fighters and he keeps turning them back. So after the fight, he called out Paulo Costa and I would like to see that fight honestly. I actually think Brunson has a good chance of winning that fight. Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you liked what you heard, please remember to like the video, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a video. Next card we have coming up is UFC 260. I am pumped. However, Volkanovski vs Ortega is off. That's some disappointing news. But anyway, we're still going to talk about some of the other fights on the card. So I'll see you all in the next one.